Hello and welcome to PA Academy. So in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to inscribe a circle inside a hexagon. So a hexagon is a polygon with uh, six sides. So this is what we are going to do. This is a polygon and we are going to have a circle inside the hexagon. Such that the circle will touch all the six sides. Now the principle we are going to be applying in this video applies to just any regular polygon. So either it is um, pentagon, hexagon, heptagon, octagon, onagon, decagon. It applies to the same the same principle that applies to it. And what is that principle? Just bisect any two angles. So bisect any two angles wherever they meet. That will represent the center of the circle. So let's do that. So to uh, inscribe a circle inside this hexagon, like I said, we are going to bisect any two angles. So the angle we are going to be using is this angle A and this angle B. So angle A and angle B. So to bisect that, so just pick your compass at any convenient length of your compass. So put it. Let's, so let's put it at this point B. So what you want to do now is to bisect angle B. So from point B, you draw an arc. So that is. So that is the arc there. To make sure the arc from is cutting the line that extends away from B, the two lines. So you pick your same compass. Now I want to extend it a bit. So from those two points, so from those two points on the on points B, from you pick the first one, you draw an arc. So from the second point also, you draw an arc. So those two are going to intersect. So from the point where they intercept, which is this point, you draw a line straight to point B. So from this point to point B. So you draw it out. So you can see. So what we've just done to point B, we're also going to do it to point A. So like I said, you know, we are going to bisect just any two angles. So use a convenient... Uh, length on your compass so I haven't drawn this so I want to increase it a bit so from the first point here so where it is touching line AB where the arc we've just drawn is touching line AB so we'll draw an arc so we'll go to the second second point We'll draw another arc. So here it meets. We'll draw it down to point A. So now where these two lines are uh, meet, now you can see that they meet at this point. So they are meeting at this point. So that point represents the center of our circle. So that represents the center of our circle. So for us to just get the length, let's just draw from that center straight down to one of the sides. So let's still use side AB. So that means this will represent, so if this place is O, I will call this place um, G. So that means the length of O to G will represent the length of the circle. So now, the next thing for us to do is to draw the circle. So you can just measure it. OA, I mean OG. So what we're having here is um, 6.9. That's 69 millimeter. So let me just measure it on my on my compass. Okay. Yeah. So with that, I can now use it to draw my circle. So let's draw the circle. So you can see we've been able to draw, inscribe a circle inside an hexagon. So let me just do it so that it will be bold. So this is it. I believe the circle is clearer now. 
So this is how to inscribe a circle inside an hexagon. And don't forget, this uh, the principle we applied here, whereby we just bisect any two angles in order to get the center of the circle that we are going to inscribe. Yeah, this principle applies to, uh, to any other uh, polygon. Either is a heptagon, hexagon, no matter the number of sides, and you want to inscribe a circle, just bisect any two angles, you get the center, and then you are good to go. So that's it for this video. If you find this video helpful, kindly uh, click on the like button. If you're here to subscribe to PA Academy, please click on the subscribe button and the little bell icon beside the subscribe button, and I'll see you all in another video. Thank you.